So this is what a St. Bernard does at the river when it's the middle of a heat wave. It's going to be 95 today, which is nothing like what they're getting out in the northwest. But he just lays down. He's just chilling. It's not too bad right now. It's about 80-something. I don't know. He got me up really early. And there goes the guy. He's drinking too much water too fast. All right, Fluffy. If you stay laying down, Montreal wins tonight. If you get up, that means Tampa Bay wins. In three, two, one. Perfect. You finally predicted something I like. All right. All right, game two, Stanley Cup Finals. We need a change of energy, so I'm going to do something here real quick that I normally say for the end. Hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it, all right? If you guys are interested in not just Panthers, but year-round daily NHL content, and also not just Dolphins, but year-round NFL content, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And last thing here real quick, Teespring. I'm going to leave the link in the description and in the comments you've got that logo which you guys are used to uh-huh you see this that's the other logo that doesn't really get shown a whole lot all right it's in the teesprings teespring store 15 bucks appreciate anybody that uh takes up on that that's it's a beautiful thing you can you can have coffee with fluffy all right enough of that whoever wins this game wins this series let's just call it let's just call it okay the Tampa's not going to suddenly lose four straight, basically, which is what it would take. And they can't even lose two straight. What are we talking about? So, Montreal. Uh, what do we have to do? What do we have to do? All right. First of all, uh, Carey Price being perfect, that would help. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying anything was his fault from last game. But pretty much close to perfect is, is going to be what you need. You came out, and you're hitting, and you're banging bodies, but you didn't keep it up the entire game, and you didn't do it hard enough, harder, faster, stronger, okay? You guys see what it's going to take. Like I said at the end of the last video, this is not Vegas, okay? When you bang with Tampa, they're not going to just turtle and, and, you know, have no shots the entire game, all right? You're going to have to keep coming at them hard. Get those pugs deep. Make them pay in the battles in the corners. And number two, then this is the most important thing. There's actually two more. Get, don't get into the box. Stay out of the damn box as best that you possibly can. All right? Now, the biggest thing that I see, I, and is so similar, so similar to what happened with the Panthers, especially in that first period, it almost looks like, uh, Tampa Bay is just wanting to duplicate what they did to the Panthers. Montreal, trust me, I'm telling you, when you are in the offensive zone, either shoot that puck really quick and see if you can get a rebound, or pass the puck quick, quick, quick and crisp, quick and on point. If you wait that extra half of a second to figure out what you're going to do, Tampa Bay is going to get a stick on that puck, and they are racing the other way, and they are going to put it in the back of the net. This is what they did to Florida, and you've seen the first goal of the game was exactly that, what they did. So, quick passing. If you do not have a lane, dump it in. All right? Don't. Try to squeeze those passes in, thinking you're gonna you're gonna get it in. You know you're gonna connect the pass quicker than Tampa Bay's defensive sticks. You're not going to. All right, Tampa Bay. <sighs> um, what I'm asking from Tampa Bay tonight is that um, I'd like a seven-game series so I can continue to get my watch hours up, so I can get monetized. So tonight would be a good game. Just throw this one. Just throw it. All right. You don't, you're not going to need it, all right? Don't worry about it. You guys will be fine. You're still going to lose in seven games. So, you know, throw us a bone here and toss this game to the side. <sighs> Wishful thinking there. All right, look. Last thing here real quick. Um, you know, I, I, I know that there was a lot of talk uh, after the game, I noticed, about 
you know, the referees kind of swallowing their whistles. Even though there were some power plays, I did see a few people mentioning about how, you know, almost like there was people feeling like they let them play too much. You can never let them play too much, okay? It, it, I would just love to see a, a, a penalty-less game. How about that? How about just no penalties unless somebody gets their face taken off, all right? Because it's a serious mismatch there, obviously, you know, on the power play. I, I, and I've said this before in videos. I don't understand how come teams cannot devise some way to not allow Kucherov especially to just stand there wide open at the side of the net. And I know you have an extra player. I, I grasp that. But if you're going to end up in the box, Montreal... This, you're going to have to disrupt those passes. You cannot let them sit there and play tic-tac-toe. It exposes whatever goalie is going to be out there because they make, they, they make these passes in the power play to the guy that's in the center of the ice. Most of the time it's point. And as much as I don't want Montreal to win and as much as I'm not a Tampa Bay fan, you have to watch their power play and just be like, damn, they're just good. You know, I mean, the amount of hours that go in to practicing that chemistry, and they've been playing together for a long time. So this is not going to be easy. It was never going to be easy, Montreal. But you, you got to have this game, this one. All right? You go down to nothing, uh, Yahtzee. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay, 4-3 Montreal, double overtime. That's a request. It's a request. I'm just asking. Please. 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 All right. No score after one. That's good. Montreal had two penalties to kill. They killed them off. That's good. Then, then they get lucky. Not lucky, but there was a little bit of blood. There was a couple drops of blood. So they get a four-minute power play. And what do they do? They don't put Caulfield out there. And you Montreal fans, this is a genuine question because I obviously haven't watched you guys play a lot this year. Is this how your power play normally is? I've never seen such slow, anemic movement, puck movement during a power play. It's four on three. You've got a million acres of open ice. And you, you guys are skating around with the puck moving it so slow, you think it was a six on five. You would think there was extra players on the ice. Luckily, it's a four-minute play, so you get the back end of it to start the second period, and maybe can somebody in the locker room can figure out, move the puck quicker. You're in this game. You've had some chances. You can't get one past Vasilevsky. A couple of the chances you guys are getting... You're shooting, you're waiting too long to shoot the puck. You're trying to one too many moves, you're getting in too close, and he's making the saves. Shoot the puck. Shoot it. Let's move on to period two, see what happens. I did. And. And then. Montreal plays about as good of a period of road playoff hockey as you can play. Price gives one up he'd rather have back. Vasilevsky gives up one that he'd rather have back. Montreal is shooting the puck all over the place, killing off penalties. And with .3 seconds left in the period, oh, And sometimes it's just not meant to be. Go on a third period. That that hurt. That 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 sucked. Alright, well, 3-1 Tampa's the final. Uh, Montreal played about as well as they could play. And I mean, would they get 40? 40 shots on goal, 41, 42, something like that. Whatever it was, if Vasilevsky is going to play like this, really nobody, nobody's going to beat this team. Um, 
pretty much everything that you, you looked at from game one, with the exception of quick puck movement on the power play, which, I mean, but everything else they, they fixed. They played as well as they think that they could play today. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, one goal, maybe Price would like to have back, but it was still deflected from how far. Obviously, the third goal there that you give up with that blind, blind back pass behind the net, but um, clearly some sort of miscommunication snafu, but uh, not like Montreal was going to get one past Vasilevsky anyway, so 2-1, 3-1, 8-1, <laughs> what's the difference? So, unfortunately, as much as I would really love to have a six or seven game series, um, and it's, it, 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 you poor Canadians, man, not just Canadian fans, but Canadians, your COVID rate is 1.1, and they won't allow more than 3,500 people. They just denied the, the application to have more people in the stands. You guys, what were they asking for, like nine, ten thousand? 10,000? That's absurd. I mean, it's just, I feel bad for you guys. And so there's not going to be like a big, I mean, there's going to be home ice advantage. As minimal a home ice advantage as you can have is what Montreal is going to get. So that's not really going to be a huge to-do. Ah! Well, at this point, I'd like to see at least Montreal, like, like, let's get a game. Let's get a game. And we don't want a 3 nothing, and then we're just waiting for the fish to die on the deck. You know what I mean? Get a game in. Get game three, and then at least game four, there's, there's, there's hope. There's a chance. But the bottom line is, yeah, I, I, I'm out of answers. I don't think Montreal has any answers, with the exception of play completely perfect. And hope Vasilevsky has a bad four games. <laughs> it's not looking good. It's not looking good. So that's a shame. I know. I mean, I was hoping for six or seven games, obviously. But at this point, if we can get to five games, that's going to surprise mostly everybody. So not giving up hope. I know you Habs fans waited a long time to get there. But... Uh, I don't, know, I don't know what the answer is to beating Vasilevsky at this point. Like I said, Tampa did not play a great game tonight. Montreal played pretty damn well, and it was 3-1. And that pretty much wraps it up. All right. I appreciate all the support. Like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I appreciate all the new subscribers. We're closing in on 1,100. Um, I'm going to try to get out one of these videos and talk about with the Panthers tomorrow, with the outdoor games and the All-Star game and all of that. Try to do my research and get a video out to you guys. Other than that, I appreciate your support. The next live stream will be one hour before game three on Friday night. And uh, let's see if we can make a series of this somehow anyway.